All right, Rebel EM followers, Salim Rezai here, and I have a case that was recently sent my way, um, and we'll just call this The Winter is Coming. So we have a 70-year-old male who presents to the emergency department with chest pain and shortness of breath, and this is his EKG. And just quickly looking over this, the leads that caught my attention initially looking at this were V3, V4, and V5. But V2 also caught my attention as well. Now, interestingly, the EKG machine read this as normal sinus rhythm, left axis deviation, anteroseptal infarct, age undetermined, abnormal EKG. Now, I don't know what y'all's thoughts are, but to me, this is a patient who's having active chest pain and shortness of breath with this presenting EKG. This is a cath lab activation. This patient needs to go to the cath lab. But unfortunately, this EKG doesn't meet any millimeter criteria for ST elevation MI. So let's take a closer look at this. So first of all, I'll tell you, lead V2, that's a hyperacute T wave. Your T wave should never be able to fit over your QRS. And that, to me, is a simple definition of a hyperacute T wave. If you can take your T wave and put it over your QRS and it all fits underneath, that's a hyperacute T wave in the right clinical setting. But then V3, V4, and V5 have this finding called a de Winter wave. And so let's zoom in on V4 here. So if we can imagine that this black line represents our baseline, um, then what we really need to do is look at these precordial ST depressions at the J point where your uh, QRS meets your ST segment. And you can see that that's about two boxes below the baseline. And it's followed by this tall, peaked symmetric T wave. And that is the classic definition and finding with a De Winters wave. So we ended up calling cardiology and they agreed that this patient, even though didn't meet any ST elevation EKG millimeter criteria, this was a really concerning clinical situation and EKG. They took him for a left heart cath and found a hundred percent mid LAD occlusion. So there you go. This is one of those anterior occlusion myocardial infarction findings that you will find. It will not be commonly seen. It will not meet millimeter criteria that most places have. And I think it's worth recognizing it and realizing that this is a form of hyperacute T wave. And this is the finding you get typically before you start getting your ST elevations that do meet millimeter criteria. So there you have it. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and questions. And until next time.